Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. I just talked about fear in the last segment. A very close companion to fear is hatred. Hatred will make you act just as irrational as fear. Hatred will not allow you to give whatever it is that you hate the benefit of the doubt, any possibility for redemption, and it will unreasonably turn you away even if what you hate can be a benefit. Right now, what this administration and its lapdog media is using to keep this nation in an uproar and divided is hatred. It's, it's really sad that it is that way because it doesn't have to be. But the powers that be, those that are in control of what you consume and what you hear, of what you do and how you pretty much govern your life, those powers that be, this administration, the mainstream media, they pump hatred into you like nothing else I've ever seen. I am 48 years old. I say again, I have been chased home by skinheads. I've had a Klansman threaten me to my face. I've run across racist cops, openly racist cops. And even with all that, I have never seen the hatred that is being pumped into this nation the way it is being pumped now. I literally, literally, right before I started recording this, came across an article about the actress Jennifer Lawrence pretty much divorcing her family because they listened to Tucker Carlson. That's the kind of hatred that they are pumping out there. I told y'all before, I've had a family member who hated Trump so much that even when they were presented with the facts, their words were, I don't care about your facts. They just wanted to continue to hate that man. Ain't that crazy? It's like they don't see the big picture. And I must applaud the mainstream media and this administration. I have to applaud them. Their plan of keeping a nation divided is working well. Because as long as a nation is divided, it is more easily controlled. And that's what hatred does. Hatred divides. It blinds. It makes you irrational. Right now you have black people that believe everyone, everyone that is white is an evil colonizer and that owns slaves. When the fact of the matter is, that's simply not true. But if you let them tell it, them being mainstream media, administration, the powers that be, everybody white is evil. Everybody white is evil. Then you have your children going to school where they are being taught to hate themselves. They have children in schools that are white being taught to hate themselves and their past. They're teaching our kids how to hate. When I was coming up, I remember for sure my mother, my grandmother, my grandparents, all saying that racism won't die off to a lot of these old heads die off because the old heads were teaching the children how to be racist. When I was coming up, it was understood, still is now, racism is taught. You are taught to be a racist. And that's what's still happening in 2022. And the crazy part about it is the people that are teaching our children how to be racist are the same ones that are screaming, we're not racist. They're the same ones screaming equality and diversity and inclusion. Yet they are teaching our children how to hate themselves, how to hate your classmates. While they are teaching the white kids to feel guilty, they are then teaching minority children how to feel victimized, telling them that they're victims and that those white kids are the reason that they're victims. So then you have the minority kids looking at the white kids with disdain, which stirs up 
anger in the white kids because they're getting blamed for something they didn't do. The hatred is there now. I hate you for looking at me like that. It's crazy how simple it is to start a hate cycle. But it really is that simple. The media, our politicians, they are teaching us to hate one another. Because as long as we are battling amongst ourselves, as long as we're bickering amongst ourselves, they can more easily control us. And the ones that are doing it the most are the ones that claim we're all about equality. We're all about inclusion. While they are simultaneously separating us, dividing us. Wake up, people. Start to love yourself and love one another. We can't let the hate win. There was a reason Martin Luther King Jr. said that. You love your enemy. The Bible says that. You love your enemy. And soon you'll realize that the enemy ain't an enemy at all. Just a friend that looks different. Man, we gonna stop it right there. You can catch the rest of that conversation on our Free Mind Thinkers podcast, which you can listen to wherever you listen to any of your favorite podcasts. We are on Amazon Music, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So give us a listen there. If you like what you heard, then tell the world. Share. Like the vid. If you have something to say, then please, we encourage everyone, drop a comment. Let us know what's on your mind. And you can find us all over social media. You can find our videos on BitChute, Odyssey, and YouTube. You can communicate with us through our various communication social media site platforms like Twitter, Rumble, Getter, Minds, Gab. Wherever you want to let your free mind thoughts flow, you'll find the free mind thinkers. Plus, we are now setting up our locals page, which will soon load exclusive content for all those that become members. So stay tuned. Things are going to get greater. Y'all take it light. Remember to listen less, learn more.